Hey friends of Keyclock, nice to see you again. This is Das Nico. In this video, I want to talk about Keyclock recovery codes, how to configure and how to use them so that your users are still able to authenticate in case they have forgotten some of their credentials. As always, grab a coffee, make yourself comfortable, and then let's start. Having something like multi-factor authentication and not only using regular username and password improves your security a lot. So users can configure a mobile app and using OTP, for example, to have a second factor during authentication. But what if your users lose their smartphone, forget their smartphone and um, want to log in, want to authenticate to Keycloak? So no worries. Friends, Keycloak has you covered. Keycloak has a feature named recovery codes, where users can use these recovery codes instead of their authenticator app or instead of a regular uh, second factor to authenticate. So let's have a look how to configure and how to enable all this stuff. So for being able to use the recovery codes feature, we have to start the Keycloak server with the enabled a preview feature recovery codes because recovery codes is still a preview feature not enabled by default and so we have to enable it explicitly when starting the keyclock server this can be done by using this feature and there's a pretty good guide at the keyclock.org website we have the enabling and disabling features um, guide and if you click on the preview features at the right menu you scroll down to the preview features and you see you have the recovery codes uh, as a preview feature. So you have to start Keycloak with the um, explicit um, feature for uh, recovery codes. I already did this and my server started with the recovery codes enabled feature. You can see it um, above my head. I go a bit down and you can see the recovery codes as the preview features are enabled. And if these recovery codes are enabled, we can go to our uh, realm and in our realm, in the authentication section, we have the required actions recovery authentication codes. Uh, this um, required action is disabled by default and we have to enable it explicitly in our realm where we want to use the um, recovery codes. So I easily can enable it and then um, we can just have a look what we can configure as a user. I already um, configured a regular user and I can sign in as my regular Desnico test user. And if I switch to the signing in section at the account console, I see I have a password with, with which I use currently to log in. And then I have the ability to configure um, some two-factor authentications. So that's the authentication application, authenticator application, sorry. Um, and um, now you have the recovery authentication codes uh, configuration option. So let's do it. Let's um, configure all of the things we have to do and um, yeah, then see how we can authenticate as a user. First, we set up uh, the authenticator application and um, we get the regular screen where we can use our um, smartphone to register. I'm doing this, um, registering a new application, seven, it's the iPhone used, and then my iPhone is registered as my authenticator application. This is uh, done like before, there uh, has nothing changed. And then I can configure the recovery authentication codes, just clicking on the link, set up recovery authentication codes. And then I will get presented with some generated um, recovery codes just for my account. And I can download these uh, codes, print it or copy it, just being able to save it somewhere. And uh, yeah, we will just, um, download it, have it opened in um, a text editor. And then we have to confirm that we have um, saved these codes somewhere securely because we're not able to review these codes again. Once um, we completed the setup at this uh, step, the codes can't be reviewed anymore. So 
click on complete setup and now you can see we have a authenticator application configured the iphone and we have the recovery authentication codes configured and so far there are no codes used so let's sign out and try to sign in again so if we now sign in I configured the authentication flow in the Keycloak admin UI to use the OTP and the recovery or the recovery codes just um, like desired by the user. So I will show you the authentication flow afterwards. Let's um, look at the um, user UI authentication um, first. So that's a regular thing. We have to provide the one-time code of our um, configured authenticator app. But now let's say we have forgotten our um, smartphone where we have um, our authentication uh, authenticator app or we have a new smartphone where um, there's not yet a configured authenticator app uh, available. And uh, then we'll have to use something else. So the recovery codes. Just clicking on try another way for uh, choosing an alternative way. And then you have the choice between the authenticator application, uh, which was the default action, and now the recovery authentication code. And if you click now on recovery authentication code, we get a screen where we are presented uh, with an input field for entering the recovery code number one. And if we go back to our recovery codes, we can copy the first code, the number one code, enter it here and signing in. So that's an easy way how to configure or how to use the recovery code when signing in instead of uh, an OTP application. And um, it's important that you use um, the code which is um, presented, which is re uh, required by Keyclow. So recovery code number two. Now we have um, should enter the code number two. Then first code we entered uh, has become invalid once we enter it. And then we can use uh, the second code. If we use another code, let's say we use um, the last code, um, the authentication will fail because um, that's not the code Keyclock requested. Keyclock requested code number two. We entered code number 12. That's not the right one. And so we can now copy code number two, enter it and yeah, we signed in. And if we click on sign in and looking at the um, authentication options, we can see now at the recovery authentication code section that already two of our 12 recovery codes are being used. So we always be, um, can be aware how many codes um, there are still left. So switch back to the admin console in um, Keycloak where we have um, the authentication flows switch to the authentication flows. And I already prepared the browser with recovery codes flow at my um, realm. And have a, let's have a look into this flow. Um, like most of the times, the first step will be the cookie um, authenticator step for having um, single sign-on behavior. And um, if the cookie step is not um, successful, the flow uh, proceeds with the next um, steps and the next step will be a subflow with the username password form which is required which we see when we um, signing in just doing this in parallel this is the username password form i'm doing the authentication with um, username password hitting sign in and then we go to the next step the next step is a conditional subflow and the conditional subflow needs a condition as the first step the condition has to be required and um, yeah, now we have the user configured um, requirement, the condition. And um, if the user has configured once of uh, one of these uh, or all of these um, authentication methods, so the OTP and the recovery authentication codes, um, Keycloak will ask the user to enter one of them or all of them, um, depending on how they are configured. We have configured them as alternative. So one of these has to be fulfilled. And um, yeah, the OTP is the first one in the row. So that's why we get here presented with the form for entering the OTP. And um, like there's another alternative way, Keycloak generates the try another way link 
on the login form, we can switch on the try another way link and we get presented with the choice of all the um, available for us available ways to authenticate. So we have the authenticating application and we have the recovery authentication code methods. That's the same we have here, we have the OTP and we have the recovery authentication codes. And then we can uh, choose between one of them, we can say the recovery authentication code, um, selecting the proper code, entering the code, signing in. That's the end of the authentication flow. That's all you have to do. That's all built in in Keycloak as soon as you have enabled the preview feature recovery codes. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, there's nothing else to do for you. Just enabling the feature, configuring the flow, enabling the uh, required action. That's quite necessary because if you don't re um, enable the required action, um, you don't, uh, your users don't have the ability to configure the recovery code. So if I switch them to off here and um, I'm still signed in and switching to um, the signing in page, uh, you can see, uh, oh no, it's, it's still there because I have them configured. Um, if I delete them at my user and I have um, deactivated uh, and disabled the recovery codes, then we will see it's no more there. So let's have a look at our user. We have the credentials, we have the password, we have the OTP and we have the recovery codes and we're just deleting the recovery codes. Switching back to the uh, console. So we don't have the recovery codes configured anymore. And because we have disabled the um, the required action to configure the recovery codes, we are yet now no more able to configure them by ourselves. And um, we also can't um, require the user to, um, oh, it's still here, recovery authentication code. That's strange um, because we disabled them. Let's have a look what, what happens. Um, Let's sign out as, as the user and sign in again. Um, of the OTP, I've forgotten the OTP. I tried another. Oh, I can use, but I can't configure them. That's quite strange. Let's see if we are required to configure them if we log in with um, the one-time code. Um, it's pretty funny. I didn't test it uh, before. And no, we are not presented to configure the um, recovery codes. Um, although we have um, configured them in the required user actions because we disabled the action. So we are not presented with the um, configuration screen. And um, yeah, as soon as we are enabling the required action again, we have enabled it. Switching back to the account console and going to the signing in page, um, we have the option again to recover to, to configure the recovery codes. They're not yet recovered, uh, configured. And um, if we now sign out and sign in again, um, using the OTP again, we're having a successful authentication. We are now presented to uh, um, configure the recovery authentication codes again because we have um, stored the required action at the user and now the required action is enabled again. So the user has to configure them. We can download them again and uh, open the file. Confirm we have saved it, complete the setup, and then we are able to use the newly created um, recovery codes. Code number one, now we have to use the new codes and I am able to sign in. So now you know how to enable, how to configure and how to use the recovery codes in Keycloak. There's no coding required, just a regular configuration. Just enable the feature starting the server with the enable feature, enable the required action in your desired realm and configure a proper 
uh, authentication flow. And then your users are able to configure the recovery codes themselves in the account application. If you like this video, just don't forget to give me some thumbs up and if you have not already done so, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of my videos in the future. And yeah, hope to see you soon. Bye bye.